The Super Archer is strangely similar to the Magic Archer from Clash Royale. No, they are not siblings, but their stories are connected. Anyways, here is the Super Archer's origin story. Hey guys, before this video carries on, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be hosting the biggest giveaway that I've ever done since my start of YouTube. I'm going to be giving away a brand new iPad Air and a brand new pair of AirPods to one lucky subscriber. I already bought the iPad Air and the AirPods right here, and I'm going to be shipping them anywhere in the world, wherever the winner is, that's where it's going to be going. So make sure you guys enter this giveaway. Plus, as sad and upsetting as it is, my channel isn't getting as many views as it normally does, but for you guys that is good news because that means your guys' chances of winning are just that much higher, there's going to be less entries, and so your odds of winning this iPad Air and the AirPods is through the roof. So for details on how to enter the giveaway and possibly win a brand new iPad Air that's worth like $800 and then a brand new pair of AirPod Gen 2, uh, make sure you stick around for the end of the video where I will explain exactly how you guys can enter this giveaway. Trust me, you guys won't want to miss it and you guys all have a very, very good chance of winning it. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that starting now, I will only be posting Clash of Clans and Clash Royale content on this channel. I found that my audience is a little bit too diverse, and so I'll be making a separate YouTube channel called World of Brawl Stars that you guys can go ahead and watch for strictly Brawl Stars content and origin stories. So this channel will now be direct directed st strictly towards Clash of Clans and Clash Royale, as the name World of Clash suggests. Anyways, good luck in the giveaway, and I'll talk to you guys soon. The Super Archer's story all starts off with the Archer. Shocker, I know. One day when things were kind of slow in the Clash of Clans village, the archer decided to tag along with a bunch of other Clash of Clans troops to go watch some matches at the Clash Royale arena for a day. When the archer got there, the only seats left were the ones in the very front row, and so she and the other troops took their seats and began watching the madness unfold in front of them. The battles were crazy close and competitive, and after a few battles, the king decided to switch up his deck a bit, and he brought out a new legendary troop that the archer had never seen before. This troop had glowing white eyes, but the part that really caught the archer's eyes was that this troop had some sort of magical glowing bow and arrow. Naturally, the archer couldn't take her eyes off of his bow. The archer then asked one of her friends who that was, and they told her that that was the, ma the new magic archer that the king just unlocked. A few mo moments later, the battle commenced. The magic archer took to the arena field and started blasting those magical arrows at incoming troops. The arrow would pierce through the troops and continue on past them. And as the magic archer approached the bridge, he looked up and in the front row of spectators, he saw what he thought was the prettiest archer he had ever seen in his life, even though they all looked the exact same. The magic archer all of a sudden started trying really hard to impress the cute archer that he saw in the stands, and every time he made a nice play, he would look up at the archer to see if she was watching. And lucky for him, she couldn't take her eyes off him either. After the battle, the magic archer went over to the archer and asked her out. She said yes, and she took him back to the Clash of Clans village to show him around where she lived. They spent the entire rest of the day together. And then the next day, the magic archer even came back to visit the archer. He found her over at the archery range practicing her shot. He watched for a little bit, and then after she was done, he told her that maybe she could teach her a few things. After all, he was the magic archer. The archer politely declined, telling him that she didn't need any extra help and that she was completely happy with what she was capable of. She didn't need any magic to help her become better either. The magic archer was shocked by this, as he had never even offered to teach other people his magic before. He then asked her again, like, are you sure? I could give you some of the magic that makes me so powerful. But again, the archer declined, this time getting a bit annoyed that he kept asking. The magic archer was now a little bit insulted by this, but yet he still liked the archer so much that he didn't want to keep pushing her and make her feel uncomfortable, and so he let it go for now. They then just continued on having a great day together, and at the end of the day when they were all pooped out, they went to the village bar together to have a few drinks and some food. After eating, the archer excused herself to the bathroom. The magic archer saw this as an opportunity to give his crush the best gift of all, magical powers. And so he poured a bit of his magic that gave him the special powerful arrows into the archer's drink. When the archer got back, she finished her drink and then she immediately began to feel the magic archer's magic working. She instantly grew bigger, stronger, and magiclier, or more magical. Then when the archer opened her eyes back up, they were glowing bright white just like the magic archers. She looked at her reflection in the glass and yelled at the magic archer, what did you do to me? The magic archer replied by saying, I gave you those magical superpowers, you're welcome. But the archer was in no mood to be thanking the magic archer. She was furious at him. She told him to get lost and that she never wanted to see him again. Then using her newfound super strength, she shoved the magic archer out of the bar and then kicked his butt out. The magic archer, still confused as to why she was mad, considering he just gave her these amazing superpowers, 
decided to just let it go and head back to the Clash Royale arenas where people actually appreciated him. The Super Archer then spent the next few days trying to get rid of these new superpowers, as she wanted to go back to the way things were before because she was happy and she didn't have to worry about all this magic mumbo jumbo. But to no avail she couldn't get rid of the powers. Instead she had to embrace her new powers and she ended up going back to the archery range to try out some of her shooting. But every time she shot an arrow, it turned into a magical arrow that would pierce through whatever she shot in a straight line. No matter what she did, she couldn't get rid of it. And when the Clash of Clans chief found out about her new abilities, he had to get her to join. Especially with her new abilities, she was a perfect fit for the new team that he was assembling. He called them the Avengers. Just kidding, he called them the Super Troops. But anyways, that there is the story of how the Super Archer was brought into the world of Clash. I really hope you guys did enjoy the story. If you guys did, go ahead and drop a like. And for the giveaway that I am hosting, I'm giving away a brand new iPad Air and some AirPods. And all you guys have to do to enter it is subscribe, like the video, comment using hashtag iPad giveaway, and then answer the comp and then answer the question of the day, which I will have at the very end of this video, or actually I'll just say it right now as well so that you guys can see it twice. But the question is, how many different types of skeleton troops are there inside of Clash of Clans right now? So just go ahead, comment down below using hashtag iPad giveaway, and then answer the question, how many skeletons, how many skeleton troops are inside of Clash of Clans? Simple as that. Honestly, there really are no wrong answers. As long as you comment, that is going to get you an entry into the giveaway. And then on September 21st is when I'm going to be drawing the winner for the brand new iPad. I'm going to be shipping it anywhere in the world. So if you're in, I don't know, India, China, even the US or Canada, no matter where you are, I will ship it to you guys. So make sure you guys comment, make sure you subscribe and come back every single video so that you can get another entry. Uh, my ch channel hasn't been getting as many views lately. Um, so you guys actually have a better chance at winning, which is good for you guys, not good for me. But anyways, it, it works out for the best. Like, I just want to give back to my subscribers to thank you guys all so much for all the support that you guys have given me over the years. And also, I did want to make a big announcement saying that I am no longer going to be doing any Brawl Stars content on this channel. I realized that's one of the reasons my channel views really dropped off is because I started diversifying my games too much. And so from now on, I will only be posting Clash of Clans and Clash Royale content on this channel. So if you play either of those games, Make sure you guys subscribe, you guys are going to love all the videos that I have coming out because they're all going to be related to those games. And Clash of Clans and Clash Royale are very much related as a lot of the troops are the same in both of them. And so even if you just play one of them, this channel will still be great for you guys. But if you guys are fans of Brawl Stars and maybe not Clash of Clans or Clash Royale, then make sure you guys subscribe to my World of Brawl Stars channel, which I have just started and I'm going to be posting strictly Brawl Stars content on there. So there will be Brawl Stars origin stories and other stuff like that. So there is something for everyone and to give you guys a bit of more and to kind of give back and give you guys more incentive to subscribe and check out videos and stuff. I am doing the iPad giveaway so make sure you guys enter that. If you guys want to win the AirPods, I have some details on how to win that on my Instagram. Uh, so that's like a separate giveaway. Um, but yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I'll also have more information in the description and at the in the comment section on how to enter the giveaway. But basically it is pretty simple. Like, comment and subscribe. Simple as that, but anyways, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Peace out.